At this very moment, cyber criminals are ramping up their operations to take advantage of employees working from home during the coronavirus pandemic. As a result, ransomware incidents are about to explode. You need to do everything possible to protect your employer and your job while working remote. How to securely work from home today on Governing Goliath. Working from home can be a pure joy and also save you a ton of money by not commuting, buying overpriced lunches, or clothes just for the office. But there are serious security risks associated with working from home, especially during a pandemic. Just because you're using the company provided laptop or VPN doesn't necessarily mean that it's secure. In fact, many ransomware infections originate from trusted employees' laptops that are connected over their VPN. Here are three things that you can do to stay safe while working remote. Number one, cyber criminals are becoming much more effective at phishing campaigns and they're increasingly targeting remote workers. Be suspicious of every call to action in every email you receive. When in doubt, call the sender of the message to make sure that it's legitimate. It only takes one wrong click to put your employer and your job in jeopardy. Number two, be sure your laptop has up-to-date software patches and antivirus protection. Ask your IT department if you're unsure of how to check. While antivirus protection isn't bulletproof, it is an important line of protection against malware and ransomware attacks. Do not connect any computer in your house to your company's VPN that is out of date. And number three, when you just have to get out of the house, connect more securely by using your cell phone as a hotspot. If you absolutely have to use public Wi-Fi, just know that public wireless access networks are risky and vulnerable to malicious attacks. Cyber criminals that connect to the same network may also be able to see the keystrokes that you type as you type them in real time. Avoid entering passwords whenever possible and don't forget to enable two-factor on your sensitive accounts if you haven't already. Anything else to add, then leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It definitely helps out my channel. Thanks again for tuning in to Governing Goliath.